Hey guys, and welcome back to Splatoon! I'm Zelda Master, and in this episode, it's time to tumble on some platforms, the tentacles of fate. Here we go, it sounds like some crazy title for a game, but this is just a level, and ooh, we got some gold ink. Sweet. Alright, so, looking at the level, like pretty much every single level, it's super abstract and really nice looking, which I admire. And uh, let's get to it, and wait a second. This kind of reminds me of like Moo Moo Meadows meets freaking I don't even know anymore. <laughs> like Animal Crossing or something. I don't know. The music is really nice. I actually really love the music for this game. There's a certain track that I have yet to find, but I was just searching Splatoon music online. And it's actually the the same music that's used in the outro of this song or of this uh, of these videos, this let's play. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I don't know. And I can't wait to actually figure out where it comes from. Unless I already took on the level without noticing. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed, though. But yeah. Um, and I really like the music for this game. Though, I kind of wish there was more of a variety online. I've explained before, uh, previously, how even though the game's main attraction is online, I feel like they did a pretty sloppy job with it. And there's a lot of things they could do to fix it up. Kind of like, um, okay, so one of the things I mentioned was how you can only play two levels at a time until, you know, a certain time passes, and then, uh, Callie and Mary switch up the thing, uh, which I find really stinking annoying. Another thing I think they, they can fix up is being able to switch your weapons, uh, mid, uh, while you're in queue. But I guess that'd be a little difficult. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't. <sighs> I don't think it would because I think of all other online games and it's not. So, yeah. I feel like that's something else they could do. Another thing that would be awesome if they, you know, added or fixed or whatever. And that's really cool. What's it supposed to be? Some sort of snake? I don't know. Um, is being... I mean, okay, gear in general, not just your weapon. Any type of gear online. But another thing would be, I guess, a more a bigger variety of music, maybe. Um, huh. I don't know, it just seems like, in general, there's a lot of sloppiness to it. But I'm not complaining. Like, trust me, everything I say about this game is not necessarily hate. It's just me nitpicking. N I'm nitpicking. That's all I'm doing. I'm not, uh, like, you know, because I'm, I'm still playing the crap out of this game, and I'm enjoying every second of it. It's... Like I said, nitpicking, and I feel like there's a couple of things they could have done to really fix up the game, and ooh. Huh, I feel like at this point, I don't even need to try finding these. Wow. So yeah, keep it, for those who don't know, I'm literally playing this blind. I don't know where the scrolls are, but I'm having such an easy time finding it. And I don't want to get cocky, but I mean, come on now. No! Okay, see, I so deserve that for getting so cocky. <laughs> Jeez, alright, so did I, do I have the scroll? No, I don't. I have to get the scroll again. God dang it. <laughs> Why am I so cocky? I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> I did kind of find it pretty easily. There we go. Now I know exactly where it is, just like that. Alright, let's get going. Whee! I gotta be careful here, because I have no idea how this area works. Alright. Ah, don't slide off. Alright, come on, hurry up. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, okay, this is gonna be simple. Alright. Slide, slide, slide. Jump. Hit this. No, 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 no. Okay. And we're good. Level complete. Wow, so far so good. We, we started off the level with a bang, you know, not too much trouble taking on the first level, because I wanna, wanna finish up this zone in this episode, you know, do the other two levels and the boss. And hopefully we'll be able to do that. So I know where level 20 is. We already found it in the previous episode. So let's go ahead and just quickly warp to it. Then all that's left is 21. You know, according to the thing on the top of the screen. Save two more Zapfish and the boss kettle will open up for us. So, yeah, amazing progress. Um, pretty happy with it. But this game is generally short. So, yeah. Alright, Octolings with seaweeds on their heads are super tough. Dang it. I don't like the sound of that, but this is another stage. I realized all of the Octoling type levels uh, are based off of online stages. 
and talk about tough, man. Wow, that Octoling was just smart. Okay, these guys are <laughs> are Octoling. Seriously now, get your head in the game, bro. Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So these guys most likely will have the um, the durability of like an actual player, maybe. Uh, so I have to be extra careful in this paint. I've never seen. I realized when you play online, there's a lot of uh, different paint colors that they remove within the game, or with from compared to single player. I know why though. It's mainly I have a feeling it's mainly because um, you're supposed to uh, have really opposite colors from your opponent, which to me makes complete sense. So I understand why, but it kind of sucks because most of the cool colors are online like I really like these really cool shades of like blue and yellow and green and I don't know there's just a lot of really good ones out there and oh god uh, one thing I noticed actually within this game is there's a lot of campers online as well by that I mean like literally they find one area to camp and they camp it uh, but luckily there's a lot of uh, special abilities that you can use that prevents that and uh, I was really hoping that would have been it that would have been awesome if that was it. All right, so there we go. Doesn't matter. I know. I know how this whole stage is laid out because I played it more than I can count. I mean, because if it's, if you're gonna have an hour session, and like I mentioned earlier, how they only have like a certain amount of levels playable every six hours or whatever before Callie and Mary decide to um to inform you of new playable stages, you know and take you out of your online queue um, yeah you gotta deal with the same amount of stages so uh, you get used to them really quickly which I wish that you were just you know you were able to play all the stages at any given time but whatever alright so all right, there we go another one down I haven't found the scroll yet so I'm gonna keep looking for that after I kill this guy. Oh, this one has a, has a seaweed. It's definitely gonna be tougher. All right, there we go. Looks good. I think we are done with uh, the level, but we haven't yet gotten everything we can get. So where would it be? It's definitely not here. Unless it's like, huh, wow, how do I? All right. Well, no wait, did I pick it up? Oh, I did pick it up. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So we found it. It was literally right before the end of the stage. I like how they, they've done that twice now on these uh, kind of stages. But there we go. We're done. That wasn't hard at all. All right. <laughs> and we get bonuses. I should. Oh, if you have, if you have your specials with you and stuff, you get an extra ten. And since I had the armor on me as well, I got another extra ten. This is really cool. Alright, so let's avoid that, or ignore it, I guess, and then upgrade our weapons. So now I want to, really want to get the hero shot level 3. But I guess I could, honestly, none of these, I don't really use anything besides the hero shot. So I'm just going to wait on that. I'm so close to getting it anyway, so. Might as well just be patient and get it when the time comes. Alright, so, all that's left is one more stage. And it's most likely, where would it be actually? God dang it. <laughs> I need to find it. Yay. Sweet. We're going to have a lot of fun doing that. The one thing I hate the most, finding stage. I say this is the biggest pain in the butt. Like, I really dislike this feature. How all the stages are just so far apart. It makes no sense why they do this, but they do, so yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not here. Maybe it's over here? Uh it's totally gonna be over here. Right, 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 right. Ah <gasps> Yeah, it's so high up. No? What? Oh, it's down here? Yes it is. Sweet. Okay, so unwelcome flying object. Alright, here we go. If we can do this, then we have the boss. And we're done with another zone, which I'd be freaking stinking happy about. So, oh, snippy snaps! It's an Octo Striker. I hate these levels, though. They put me on edge because I have to be quick, fast, uh, precise with all my movements and hide from him. 
and I'm just gonna like literally breeze through this right now as long as I can because I know that it's oh this is also based off of an online level one that I played l really little of actually like I remember playing this but I think that's when I was just getting used to the hang of things this is one of the stages that appeared early on either way uh, like I was saying uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get the thing later on. Oh god, what, what, what the heck? Alright, so, let's head up here. Would it be in one of these secrets? What would it be? Oh, wait, it's over here. I sense it. Okay. This is it, right? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know what kind of reaction that was, but I'm happy that I found it so easily. Alright, sweet. Now let's quickly um, find another checkpoint before uh, before I get hit again, because I don't want to look for it again. So yeah. All right. Uh, where is another checkpoint? Come on, hurry, hurry! Following these arrows, assuming this is the way to go, but it's not. It's just arrows because for some reason they have so many stinking different signs and stuff to follow when half of it. Is super unnecessary. All right, the boss, and we got the checkpoint most likely. And we're gonna kill the boss only in a couple hits. I could get that extra ten. Is it worth it? You know what? It's not. So here we go. Wait. Oh wait, no, it's a different upgrade. I thought it was the tornado thingy. I don't know why. I don't even know how to use that. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh oh. No, no, no. Back up. Back up. All right. Go, go, go. No! Woo! Alright. Gotta go quick. This guy's definitely spamming it way more often. But I think I got him. He's right now... Yeah, he was literally under... Or I was under him, so there was no way he was gonna escape me. And we have done it. So, kabam. These levels are stinking short. But, you know... They're meant to be short, fun, easy, quick not much to pick you know what I mean I don't know what I'm saying honestly I feel like I'm just saying a bunch of nonsense uh, but wait a second okay so 27 levels in total plus boss we have like one or two more episodes left after this I have a feeling and that would be really good if that is the case that means we breeze through this game so fast it was like eight parts or whatever I maybe a little more than eight because I feel like I'm already on episode eight this would be episode eight no this would be episode seven so it'd be like ten parts I guess in total either way I want to get up here I'm having a lot of trouble doing so all right this will do it Just go ahead and get a nice jump and there we go so boss time my friends here we go, so yes, this is Inkling is on the menu of the Ravenous Octoma. Oh my god. Get it? But that was like super genius. Whoa! This is like a swamp. Yo, this is sick. Alright, well I guess wait, what's this? This warning sign I guess it has no text that's readable but whatever okay no one can read it now <laughs> yeah because it has inkling text which I mean I'm pretty sure it's just made up text either way oh my god is it a shark okay never mind I forgot it's always an octopus <laughs> but I mean is it in a shark like thing oh it's like in a chompy chomperson all right so jumping into this blind I don't know how we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this but hopefully we'll figure whoa Wait, 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 what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? You just... What? Okay. I thought I was supposed to fill up uh, his mouth with ink. And that was going to... Um, to do it for me, but I guess not. That's, that's not how you're supposed to do it, so... I guess... Oh, just find a way out? Okay, now what? And then... Break all of his teeth. Which is weird. Feed him some of it? What is going on? All right, just jump out. Oh, breaking his teeth is not what you want to do. You want to fill his... Oh, there we go. Okay, so you give him a bomb. This is interesting, but I got it. Okay. You know, you learn. 
how you have to do it. So I guess you gotta find the gap. I don't even need to focus on his teeth, if anything. Unless you have to take out his teeth. I don't know. We're gonna figure it out right now. So, checkpoint. Sweet. Like how you always get a life for the checkpoint. Alright, so there we go. Open up that mouth. Oh, you have to break some of the teeth so he actually gulps it. Huh. Alright, either way, bam, baby. Second part down. Alright, hopefully we'll have enough uh, of those orange circles after we complete this so I can upgrade my thing. But whoa, you need to brush your teeth. I like how as the battle progresses, his teeth get dirtier. Yeah. Alright, so. Ah! We're good. And. No! Oh, did he eat it? No, he didn't. Oh, crap. Alright, save up your ink. Wait, what is going on? I never made it this far. Wait, whoa! Ah! His... His teeth were just attacking me. I never actually gave him the chance to do this. Woo! Jump out! Alright. Alright, and... We're done. This has to do it. Bam! Woo! <laughs> That's funny, though. How like there's a, a whole phase of the battle that I was skipping just because I was able to do it so easily. I mean, this game isn't hard though. I shouldn't gloat, but still, I can't help it, my friends. I just could not help it one bit. Alright, there we go. Please give me an extra 10 or something because I really want to get this thing. There we go. That was boss number 4. Uh, now the next area will open up. I think we did all of this in like two episodes. I don't know. I've seen better. If you keep it up, we'll find the great zap fish in no time. It's great. Oh, Captain. Uh oh. Who's this? Yeah, I didn't call for this. Guys, the final boss. Give us back the zap fish. I like how they just call it the final boss. Incopolis is mine. Dude, seriously. Get your own radio channel. That's funny. All right. And that is that, my friends. We have killed him. And we have more to do. But let's see if we actually have 1k uh, orange balls. So I can... Uh, I don't. God dang it. Alright, I guess maybe next time we will, at least. This is the final section. Look at that. It's like stairs leading up to the next area. Alright, this is exciting. <gasps> oh my! Look at that, it's super intense. All the way to the top. Which I'm assuming we're gonna take that launch pad to, yeah, the final boss, which is on a UFO. Oh yeah, because the UFO is what stole the Zapfish. The great Zapfish or whatever. Alright, well... I guess next time we shall start up Zone 5? I'm pretty sure and take on the remaining levels within this game so we will look for the next level next time because I don't really want to spoil this yet you know we'll jump into it newly and freshly next time yeah so thank you all so much for watching this episode of Splatoon and if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like anyways I've been Zelda Master I'll see you all in the next one bye